Jibs are valuable tools used every day in the trade. And if you're using them to work on energized lines, it's important to know if the jib has been dielectrically tested. If it has been tested, you'll see a mark similar to this from the manufacturer. Also, your company might have a sticker or some kind of an indicator showing that it's been tested and approved for live line work. But why is this important to have an insulated jib? To explain this, let's take a closer look at the truck. The upper boom is only insulated between these two marks. So if an uninsulated jib contacts an energized source, this whole area becomes energized. If we were to accidentally make contact with a grounded object, it would create a second point of contact, which could cause serious injury or death. Okay, now let's say we have a rated jib. When it comes in contact with an energized conductor, this area remains isolated because of the jib's insulation. If we were to accidentally make contact with a grounded object, this area is now grounded but remains isolated from the energized source. Even if you have a rated jib, if you have a winch line attached, it's not rated for live line work, so you should use a live line tool like this link stick to provide isolation from the energized source. Just make sure it's rated for the voltage you're working on. Remember, if you have a jib that's rated, make sure you treat it as a live line tool and keep it cleaned inspected, tested, and stored properly. For more information, contact the manufacturer or your safety department.